I was asked by a YouTube user named Seth if I would go through step by step exactly how to make a background like this in HTML and CSS. And I'm just going to make a folder inside my local server, but you can easily just do this on a web server as well. And let's call it full page background project name and we're going to need an images folder and a folder for a CSS file and I'm going to copy that path and I'll open that in my editor open folder paste the path Great, and I'll need an index.html file. And I'm just going to put some basic HTML in there. Next, I'll make a CSS file just called style.css. And I'm going to link that to the head. And it's just simply link the REL equals style sheet, type equals text dot slash CSS, and the hrefs is the link, which it's in the CSS folder and the file name style.css. Next we need a background image and I'm going to get one off Pixabay. I'm just going to search for landscape and this one right here is nice and big and usually you want to get the biggest size that you can. The, they have several sizes. 1900 by 865 sounds good. If you get one too small and you try to stretch it, it will be low resolution. If you get one too big, then it will take longer to load. So you kind of want to find a happy medium in there. And I'm going to rename this background JPG. And I'm going to go ahead and navigate My, web, my browser to that. So localhost YouTube and full page background folder. So that's it. Nothing's there yet. So here's the trick. In your style sheet the property you want to affect is body. Background dash image is the CSS property and you want to then tell it it is a URL and then we need to give the path to the image inside the parentheses and it's in images background JPG but since it is relative to the style sheet instead of the HTML file, we need to go up a level because the style sheet is down in this folder. So we need to go one up. And to do that, you do dot dot slash. Now let's have a look. Great. Now that put that there, but sometimes you need to be able to set a few other properties. Background size, cover, there. That resizes it in the background. But if you notice down here at the bottom, 
even though it covers the entire screen, it repeats a bit at the bottom. You see the sky starting to start over. And we can fix that by saying background repeat, no repeat. There. And that's basically how you do it. Now, if you do want to find how somebody else is doing it, you can use the Inspect tool on Chrome. And most of the time, you want to look in the CSS. But sometimes, it will be what we call an inline style when somebody puts the property in the word style in the HTML tag. And the style equals background image, and then it's got a URL. So we can just copy that. And replace that there if we want to use their image. Oh, grab the wrong link in there. But still, you see, we can just replace it with any of these links to be able to change the background. there. Well, I hope that answers your question. If not, uh, please you know, leave more comments and I'll do my best to help you. Anybody else watching, I hope you found it useful and thanks for watching.